Thank you, thank you to Lexi Copolio for inviting me to participate in this wonderful project. Rather than read from one of my travel books or cookbooks, I thought I would share with you my contribution to A Taste of Greece, a cookbook album that I co-edited a few years ago in aid of the food charity Urume. For it, we had asked 40 celebrities, ranging from Ariana Huffington to Zubin Mehta, to tell us their favorite group foods, what Greece meant to them, and one of their fondest memories of the country. And I thought, what better time than the present to share with you my appreciation for Greece, the country where I have lived so happily for most of my adult life. So, what is your favorite Greek food? Almost anything that comes from the sea, from tiny fried atherina, baby kalamaraikia, fat mussels and bearded red mullet, to octopus, shrimp, and bigger fish, grilled, poached, or made into soup. The simpler, the better. But I have to add that to me, Greek food is soul food. In a few words, what does Greece mean to you? Greece is where my heart is. I love its layers of history and the way it intertwines with myth so that on a hike you may find a sign for Hercules' funeral pyre or Odysseus's palace. The extreme beauty of its islands, olive groves and mountains, never fails to move me. But so do the wildflowers, anemones in late winter, cyclamen in the fall. And the smells, whether of cooking or of trampled herbs in the countryside, and orange blossoms in central Athens in the spring. The sounds, sheep bells in the hills, kaikis heading out to sea. The shouts, sometimes rude, sometimes lewd, in the farmer's markets. Or someone playing a flute next to the Roman Agora. Most of all, I'm drawn to the people, whether they're in good spirits and enjoying life. To the hilt? or down in the dumps and shrugging their shoulders, repeating their mantra, Tina Kaname, what to do. And the way they just get on with it, stoically and creatively. This is a crazy, infuriating, heart-rending place, and wherever you go, it wounds you, as Seferi said. But when you're not there, you ache to be back. Maybe because of its contradictions, it fosters deep friendships, as well as spontaneous connections, and they keep us going, even in tough times like the present. What is your fondest memory of Greece? How could I condense 50 plus years into a single memory? Would it be the first time I heard the expression, joy of God day, on a crystal clear October morning on Spetses? being caught almost at the top of Olympus in a hailstorm with Zeus's timpani crashing around me, sitting in the kitchen, listening to the stories told by Eleni, my sister-in-law's cook, who'd been with the family since 1920, swimming with a monk seal off Alonisos, visits to the remote islands of Alafonisos, Pserimos, Castellorizo, and the Cufonicia before they were discovered, experiencing overwhelming hospitality and generosity in Crete while tracking down recipes, being welcomed by the whole neighborhood of Marusi when my son and I arrived on June 4th, 1972, to move into the empty family house. Hardly a day goes by in this country without something happening, something memorable, even if it's a small thing like spotting a hoopoe or a bee orchid exchanging a joke or a gripe with the green grocer, running into a friend in an unlikely spot, or catching sight of the Acropolis, framed by city streets, TV aerials, and solar heaters. <laughs>